Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve another very very interesting question from algebra. We have to solve one factorial equation n minus 1 factorial plus 1 equal to n square. So let's get started. I will subtract 1 from both the sides so that I will get n square minus 1 square. The difference of 2 squares formula will be applicable in our right hand side. So let us subtract 1 from both the sides first. We will cancel plus and minus 1 from the left hand side and we will write our equation n minus 1 factorial equal to n square minus 1. Here we will use difference of two squares formula. So we can write here n plus 1 times n minus 1. And our LHS is n minus 1 factorial. Now we are going to use recursive formula from factorials. We know that n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial. Or we can write equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. Now we are going to use this recursive formula to our LHS. I can write our equation n minus 1 times n minus 1 minus 1 which is n minus 2 factorial equal to n plus 1 times n minus 1. Now in LHS we have n minus 1, in RHS we have n minus 1, so we can cancel or we can divide both sides by n minus 1, but we have to make sure that n minus 1 should not be 0. So I am going to check our original equation, what will happen when n equal to 1. Let us put n equal to 1, so LHS will become 1 minus 1 factorial plus 1 and RHS will be 1 is square. So we will write here 0 factorial plus 1 and RHS is 1 is square is 1. 0 factorial is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 equal to 1. Is it true? No, it is not. So for our equation, n cannot be 1. Now we can divide and we can cancel n minus 1 from both the sides. So we will get n minus 2 factorial equal to n plus 1. n minus 2 factorial equal to n plus 1. Now we will use substitution. Let us say n minus 2. Suppose this is equal to y. So I can write equation y factorial in the LHS and n plus 1 is in the RHS. So let us calculate n from this equation first. n will be equal to y plus 2 and then we can calculate or find n plus 1 value directly which we will substitute in the RHS. So n plus 1 will be y plus 2 plus 1 y plus 3. So we are going to write y plus 3 in the RHS and y factorial in the LHS. Let's write y factorial equal to y plus 3. Now we will subtract y from both the sides. So we can write y factorial minus y equal to 3. Again we will be using recursive formula here. And we can write y times y minus 1 factorial. This is y factorial minus y equal to 3. Now we can take y common from left hand side. 
so y will be common in bracket we can write y minus 1 factorial minus 1 equal to 3. Now we will find factorization of 3. 3 is prime number. So we can consider 3 times 1. Product will be 3 or 1 times 3. Product will be 3. So we are having two sets. First one, y is 3 and y minus 1 factorial minus 1 is 1. So let me write here y equal to 3 and y minus 1 factorial minus 1 equal to 1. Now we will add 1 to both sides. In second equation, we will cancel minus and plus 1 from the LHS and we will get y minus 1 factorial equal to 2. Now we have to write RHS in terms of factorial if we want to equate y minus 1 with one number. So we know that 2 factorial is 2. So I can write here 2 factorial. Now we can compare or equate y minus 1 with 2. Now we'll add 1 to both sides to get our y value 3, which is true. So we are going to accept y equal to 3 from our first case. Now let's check second case. Here y is 1 and y minus 1 factorial minus 1 is 3. So I will write here second case y equal to 1 and y minus 1 factorial minus 1 equal to 3. We will add 1 to both sides and get y minus 1 factorial equal to 4. Now if we will check 0 factorial, 0 factorial is 1, 1 factorial is let me write here 0 factorial is 1, 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial is 120 and so on. None of the number is 4. So we cannot write 4 in terms of factorial. We are not going to get y as a natural number or integer. So we will reject our second case. So accepted y is y equal to 3. Now y was our substitution n minus 2. So we will write n minus 2 in place of y equal to 3. Now we have to get n equal to 5 by just adding 2 to both sides. So our answer is n equal to 5. Now we are going to verify our result whether it is true or not. So let me write here check the value of n is 5. Now we will put in LHS first. Equation is here. I will write n minus 1 factorial plus 1. n equal to 5. So I will be writing 5 minus 1 factorial plus 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. So we will write 4 factorial plus 1. 4 factorial is 24 plus 1. LHS will come out 25. Now we will put n equal to 5 in our right hand side. Right hand side is n square. Just by putting n equal to 5 we are going to get 25. So LHS is matching with RHS. We will say our answer n equal to 5 is true and correct. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.